the will to push through any obstacle, the drive never to give in to defeat. These are the virtues that define the Olympic spirit, epitomized in the incredible story of former Olympian and American hero, Louis Zamperini. As a kid, I was always in trouble. I was rotten. <laughs> Who's down there? They started talking about what to do with me. And the police chief said, we've been chasing them all over town for years. I should just run it. <laughs> you train, you fight harder than those other guys, and you win. If you could take it, you can make it. As a complete unknown, Zamperini burst onto the world stage at the Olympics in 1936. The unwavering spirit that got him there led him to a record-breaking performance and carried him forward to a time when the world was at war and his country needed him most. You learn perseverance at running. Right in the middle of almost giving up, you try again and again until you overcome. And that's important in the war, too, the determination to come out first, to come out alive. His bomber, down in the Pacific, Zamperini survived on the open water for 47 days, only to be captured by the enemy. I got good news and bad news. Hello, mother and father. This is your Louis talking. This will be the first time in two years that you'll have heard my voice. I am now interned in a Tokyo prisoner of war camp and being treated as well as can be expected under wartime conditions. Zamperini's miraculous journey of resilience is one of the most inspirational stories ever known. It became a best-selling book that touched millions who have drawn upon its strength, including filmmaker Angelina Jolie, who now brings the remarkable story of Louis Zamperini to the big screen. You beat him by making it to the end of the war alive. If I can take it, I can make it. Persevere, I think, is important for everybody. Don't give up. Don't give in. There's always an answer to everything.